Information, short game review. Sam is has dropped off the grid and is now back to discover the truth about his daughter and stop a conspiracy plot. This is like they removed most of the other Splinter Cell things and just left some things over and then just gave you a cover-to-cover -cover tactical shooter. There's very little stealth, very few gadgets, and it just isn't that interesting. There is a nice system of where it's very easy to shift from one cover to another by just indicating where you want to go and pressing a key. And you can have the enemy fighting where you used to be, but this is taken too far with them sometimes at point blank range not being able to see that you're not still there. And that just makes no sense. The mark and execute system is a nice new feature and it isn't overly, it doesn't take away too much of the fun of the game because you do have to earn the right to execute the marks by taking a human shield or taking someone out at short range, which is easy as can be. No challenge there. And you can only mark, I think, at most six and usually it's more like two at a time, so then you have to take out someone at short range without a weapon again. The plot is thin as can be and the game is very short. Multiplayer is pretty good but it's limited to co-op though there are several different modes.